just to, so I have this clear in my mind that I would have to state a reason why, a religious reason why, a faith-based reason why I should be exempt from getting the vaccine if my employer requires it, correct? Senator from uh, Butler, Senator Masterson. Thank you, Mr. Vice President. I mean, the answer to that is yes. Based on a sincerely held religious belief, under the definition of religious belief, so I do, I do believe something would qualify in the akin to, I believe as much that this particular vaccine will do damage to me as much as I believe Jesus Christ rose from the dead. That is a sincerely held belief as it pertains to this. Senator Dahl. So in the way I read this also, this does not have to be a faith-based. It, it, uh, I could be, belong to a, a Satan cult and get a signed release, and they would have to honor that. Is that correct? Senator from Butler, Senator Masterson. Thank you, Mr. Vice President. According to this act, religious belief includes, but is not limited to, theistic and non-theistic moral and ethical beliefs as to what is right and wrong that are sincerely held with the strength of a traditional religious view. That is the definition the EEOC uses. Senator from Finney, Senator Dahl. So, you know, I, I, I'm not as bright as a lot of people in here. I'll be the first to admit that. So could I have a yes or no? Does If I had a signed letter from a Satan cult, from a cult, a religious, that they, a, a cult, a Satan cult, I could be exempt. Could I have a yes or no on that? Senator from Butler, Senator Masters. Thank you, Mr. Vice President. Under this, this act, I think the answer is yes. Thank you.